don't have to call me Monica Mary Abbott. That was just on my uh, on my voting card. I'm just Monica Abbott generally. But um, since we only have two minutes, you, there is some campaign <laughs> literature, as they like to call it, back there that outlines every every group I've been involved with. And um, so I'd like to just talk a little bit more about me and my values. I certainly totally agree with this. I I came to St. Petersburg, bought my house, and I even paid my house off so the bank wouldn't bother me. And I can self-insure myself or not carry flood insurance. And, and I know the city does a lot of self-insurance too. And I've saved a lot of money by doing that. Um, but let's get back to what. I came here in about 2004, and I bought here in beautiful District 1, where you're all sitting tonight, and I'm very proud that you're here. Uh, as the first full candidate debate to be hosted in District 1. And I, I want to say that, uh, let you know about my background. My family uh, has been called all types of public service, armed forces, priesthood, public safety, and elected offices, and so am I. As the twig is bent, so grows the tree. I remember even in the sixth grade when I was selected to be a safety patrol member and to get out of class a little early and go help my, my fellow students cross the road safely. I was very serious about that, but I am even more serious about all of your needs and your desires for a safe, livable community at your own privacy. Um, my, I grew up in Love Canal in Niagara Falls, New York. I don't know if you know that, the name. My parents say, scrimped and say. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I do, and I also support tightening the noise ordinance out on the West Central area. I live close to Park Street, and uh, motorcycles will wind up all, all along Park Street, and they mm -hmm. will just scream down there, generally on the weekends. Uh, certainly there's the boom box noise coming from the cars that stop right at the traffic. I believe that, uh, as you say, as long as you're not infringing on somebody else's uh, privacy or rights, I don't want to be polluted with noise. It's very stressful to be in your backyard and all of a sudden hear the screeching of motorcycles downtown. They talked about those, uh, that pounding of the, uh, the deep pounding of the, the piers that really pounded and pounded. I could hear that when I was walking on West Central side. And at first I didn't even know what it was. I thought it was war drums. It was so bizarre. It was loud and, 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 and persistent, and it was totally against the peaceful nature of walking in the park. So I, I know that that's been challenged by the Supreme Court by a gentleman who had his uh, music playing very loud in his car, and he did prevail. Uh, I know that it is a big issue for people who have moved downtown, and they're, they're told, oh, well, you moved downtown. You knew what you were getting into. Well, it's only in the past few years that downtown has really popped. And uh, the, the bars and the like, uh, they could be a little more cooperative. They can still have their music, take it indoors, as, as the police have said. Uh, you don't have to be. And in fact, uh, I just recently read in the paper where I believe Raleigh has actually imposed a much stronger noise ordinance that we should look at because noise is a type of stressor and we live in a very stressful time, so I definitely, definitely, I think there's compromise to be had and I certainly wouldn't want to have, be in, a, in an area where you're just constantly bombarded by noise as they seem to be downtown and not even be able to get a good night's sleep. Thank you. Thank you. I, I just wanted to comment on the, on the uh, program for you. Uh, I just completed the Pinellas County Juvenile Justice Citizens Academy in June 2015. It was a nine-week class. We went out to the Jack Center that Councilmember Newton's always talking about. We went uh, to Wildwood and saw where they're detained. And I have my uh, bachelor's degree in education. As I said, I was a guardian ad litem for children. Children are, of course, very high on my priority list because that's where we all start. And if you can bend that twig, 
the right way, it's going to grow into a, a, a wonderful person with a good life. I would also like to say that um, all of these things that are on my, on my information over there, this is just since I came to St. Petersburg. I had a long, productive life. I had a career. I raised a family. And I could have just sat back and said, oh, you know, I'm going to just relax now. But that's not in my nature. And every job I've ever had, every employer I've ever had, I have exceeded their expectations. Uh, I, I love to always keep up on, on current events, always trying to educate myself, as I did with the Pinellas County Citizens University, as I did when I found out about the uh, building next, right across from me, which still exists, and is still a worrisome piece of property for the neighborhood. And uh, as part of going forward in the next four years, I got involved in the West Central Business District also. So not only do I have the neighborhood side of things, I'm very interested in seeing that the businesses, the small businesses, uh, get the help they need to for jobs. Unfortunately, we counted on $2 million in Penny for Pinellas money since 2008. Some, okay, thank you, but I'll, I'll find that money.